Hi everybody, this is a short demo of uh, XXQL for MDSAL. In a nutshell, uh, XXQL is just a different way to query tree data uh, as if it was a sequential database, uh, making it easy to just uh, extract data uh, using a common uh, known uh, SQL like uh, API. So uh, let's uh, start with it. Uh, to connect to the uh, new XSQL interface, you just tell it to port 34343. Okay. Uh, to uh, get the list of uh, available virtual tables, uh, you just do a uh, list V tables. And you see a list of uh, all the available tables that the different plugins have registered on the schema uh, service. Uh, uh, to, to see a list of uh, available uh, properties or columns, uh, uh, you can do uh, uh, list V tables. Okay, and you can see that, uh, for example, the nodes uh, slash node uh, a virtual table contains the virtual column uh, connected uh, coin capability description, hardware ID, and so on and so on. Uh, let's do uh, a few queries. Um, let's uh, show all the inventory nodes by doing a select star from uh, node slash node. Uh, as you can see, you can see all the, the different uh, inventory nodes. We have uh, uh, 16, uh, including the controller dash config. Uh, the open flow, uh, we have 15 nodes uh, in this uh, mini net uh, setup. Uh, uh, just as a FYI, if you want to uh, 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 forward the output to a CSV file, just do it to CSV and executing the same query will uh, put the file into the CSV file. Uh, if you want to turn this uh, feature off, just write down again to CSV and Data is also uh, uh, output into the screen. <coughs> let's continue with some more queries. Uh, for example, let's query the node connectors. And uh, you can see we got uh, 59 node connectors in the different uh, open flow uh, nodes. Let's uh, combine and see. Uh, on which node it, each node connector belongs to. So uh, we got this uh, open flow 14, got four nodes, one, two, three, and 65, five, three, four. Uh, let's do some more specific uh, querying and request the node ID, uh, the node connector ID, and the hardware address. Uh, let's start with the filtering. Let's collect all the nodes that the node connector ID contains the column tree. And we got uh, 17 of those. Uh, and uh, let's do some more filtering and find all the nodes that contain uh, the node connector ID contains the column tree and the hardware address contains the string FE and we got one of those uh, XSQL is basically in initial state it contains only querying uh, haven't implemented the uh, insert into yet um, uh, also the criteria and all the filtering is in initial state so I might have bugs I will happy, be happy if uh, someone will give me feedback and uh, help me test this thing uh, uh, one more thing I forgot uh, XXQL contains also uh, a JDBC interface 
let's uh, take a look at this uh, interface it's really regular JDBC interface uh, you just need to uh, register the driver and that's it you can run your uh, queries using a JDBC and work with the a statement and a result set as it was a database sequential database let's look at the code you can see that the code is really clean there is no reference to MD Sal Young or any kind of um, models in this code you can see that it's just registering the driver the XXL driver and uh, just you know uh, getting the columns that uh, appear in the query that we did and in this case it's just exporting and just printing the data in a CSV format so let's just execute it okay and we can see that there is an output is the same thing that we saw on the screen uh, let's grab uh, this query, put it here, execute it again. Okay, and we see that we have one no uh, one. Uh, result for our query okay thank you